This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is The Ramble and we go until midnight tonight. Oh yes, here we go, another week, another dollar. Uh, my bag's getting worse under my eyes. Am I getting to look peaked? There, there, look at these. <laughs> We're not even going to go into that. Uh, anyway, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, and uh, I think it's a, if, if Phil should be waiting around here somewhere. Let me see here. I'll admit him here, and then I will bring up this, which is a uh, uh, our uh, our Zoom panel thing there. Hello there, Phil. How are you? Hey, I'm wonderful, and it's good to see you. Uh, you know, your your bags are getting a little bit bigger. Uh, there's, uh, have you had your liver enzymes checked? I've had everything checked. Yeah, well, uh, take a look. Just make sure uh, sometimes uh, th there could be stuff going on with the liver, and that's an indication. I see. You're a doctor. No, I watch YouTube. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> now, I've got a big doctor's appointment on uh, Friday. For yeah. A, a new oncologist. A uh, new, yeah, new? yeah. What the old one retired after? No, they got no, no. That was that was, that was that was that was for my prostate. We've taken care of that. Now we're onto my blood. Oh, now we're right. onto my blood. That's right. Uh, you've you've got some more stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, you know, probably Maybe. nothing. But you know, I mean, I don't yeah. have any symptoms. I I look healthy, don't I? Yeah, I look. I don't look gaunt or anything like that. No, for eighty three, you you look pretty damn good. Yeah, and and the bags, but the bags are just I'm tired, you know, from being tired and. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I listened to this guy, Doctor Berg, and another one uh, that was uh, some uh, Olympic athlete, and mm -hmm. he's another doctor. Well, uh, you know, they they talk about different things, and you know, one of them, I I'm watching a lot of stuff on kidney issues. Uh, because I'm afraid, because I'm a diabetic, that maybe I've abused my kidneys to the point where I may end up having some problems. You know, the guy mm -hmm. in Canada, look what uh, you know. Look what happened to him. He he just got a kidney transplant. Did he get it finally? Yeah, he he got it, and uh, he I believe he's doing well. Oh, okay, because he hasn't called the show, so I have no idea whether how's how's he doing. I don't know that he that he got the liver, but I guess yeah, he no, did. he he did get the kidney. Oh, the kidney. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, My kidneys uh, seem to be okay. You know, I mean, uh, the, whatever I got, if it's this blood thing, I have no symptoms. I have no symptoms of it. I looked at all the symptoms of what it could be for you know. Yeah. And and I don't have any of the symptoms, and one of them is kidneys, and I don't have that problem either. So, well, the kidneys yeah. filter all your blood. Uh, they filter uh, a lot of uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, glucose and things that uh, are filtered out through your urine and uh, it's amazing what the kidneys d do but uh, nobody wants to talk about kidneys uh, you know uh, I and I don't really care that Biden fell again today I, I guess uh, he didn't he's fall he tripped do you know what it was I couldn't walk walk up those steps I mean that, that no. do you see how how long that ramp was yeah they should build an escalator for him yeah, well, yeah. A, a lot of people. Uh, a but lot why, of why are you making fun of him falling? Who said I'm making fun? You made fun of him. You brought a big, up, brought oh, up a that's big deal. Your interpretation. About, no. I said I really want to talk about this, but Biden fell again, and See, I think well, what, 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 slow what, down. What, I said I think he should slow down when he starts walking upstairs. I mean, you know. Uh, Listen, at least he's not a sociopath like Trump. How is Trump a sociopath? He didn't fall. He's a sociopath. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he, he fell off the beaten path. Uh, yes, off the social uh, beaten see. path. Yeah. Um, is it? You know, you had talked about uh, the Republicans and Rick Scott. 
mm. wanting to I didn't uh, talk about Medicare. No, I haven't talked about it at all. No, well, yeah, you you referred to it. The Republicans are trying to cut Medicare. And well, they like want, some of them want to want to cut money, Medicare, which you know I think would be a, a drastic mistake in this country. Uh, probably, yeah. but I, I looked into what Rick Scott actually wanted, and it, and it kind of made sense. Uh, he said that the entitlements that are getting handed out should be um, looked at every five years. And if you think that there's still good entitlements, then you should vote on them again in Congress and reenact yeah, but, them. But no, but the point is that we do that in Congress, and it depends on who's in Congress as to whether things get passed or don't get passed. The fact that is that every American should be entitled to a certain level of medical care and case closed. You know, well, and, he, and, he, and, uh, and, 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 what, and what kind of things did he say you had to look at? Well, just general entitlements. Like entitlements uh, like what? Give me, it, it, now, you see, what you call an entitlement may not be an entitlement at all. It may be a must you must have. It, it, it could be subsidies to farmers. It, you know, there, there, there's a lot of entitlements that uh, get voted on, and they just, one piles up on the other. You know, every couple of years, have you ever looked at your household budget and said, you know, what, can, what do we really still need? Do, do we need this? Do we, do we need uh, six computers? Do, you know, uh, so you, you look at these things, and what he's saying is that the government should l uh, sunset uh, entitlements, not Medicare. I, I not hate you using security. the term entitlements because well, you're con you're confusing. Use. Well, yes, because that's a Republican term saying that people feel they're entitled to something. They use yeah. that term as opposed a to anyway. Everybody said that this guy was was off off the rails and that uh, his ideas were crazy. And I, I looked at it and I said, you know, that's not a bad idea. It's a terrible idea because Why? what you do is every five years, say you're bringing up the entire Medicare system and they're just going to, they're just going to. Uh, they were excluding Medicare and Social Security. He was. Uh, he was. They, he he yeah. mentioned, I think, Medicare. Uh, well, in, in in the last day or so, he recanted. Is he running uh, for president now? No, I don't uh, think so. He wants to be governor again when uh, uh, <laughs> when DeSantis becomes president. DeSantis ain't going to become president. Yeah. You know what? You know why DeSantis won't get elected? Why? He has no sense of humor. He, he uh, doesn't laugh at anything. And Biden has a sense of humor? Oh, yeah. I, absolutely. I mean, yeah, why the chicken cross the road to fall down on the other side? See, there yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> you know, I I'm tired. Help. I know. I, you know something? Uh, I, I was watching an interview with one of your favorite guys, uh, um, Senator Adolf Hitler. No, what's his name from uh, Vermont? Um, oh, uh, Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. And he was he was on the the uh, Colbert show, and he was saying, you know, we've gone a long way towards. Uh, trying to prevent racism in this country and to prevent sexism in this country and to prevent a lot of different kind of isms in this country. The only one we don't seem to care about is ageism. Yeah. Yeah, and there you go pulling an ageism joke. Hey, somebody's got to do it. No, uh, no, not you can wash it off that easily, but you know what's so funny about somebody getting old? I mean, I have all my aches and pains and all these doctors that want to, you know, make a buck out of me and whatever. And uh, it ain't easy getting old. Yeah. You know, I, um, years ago, I was uh, in San Francisco. I did a show on, on uh, PBS called Comedy Tonight. And the uh -huh. local PBS station was, uh, was KQED. And they produced right. another show. Uh, and uh, it was called Over Easy. And it was a show about aging. There's no show like it on television today. There should be, but there isn't. Okay, and hosted by you Downs, by the way. And the producer of that show. One day I was over there doing some voiceovers for Comedy Tonight, and I got a a call uh, to the front desk that uh, somebody over at East, uh, over Easy wanted to see me, the producer of the show. And I didn't know what about, but he had me come up, and I went up and. He said, yeah, Alex, I just want to talk to you for a second. I said, yeah. He said, you know, um, I heard your show the other day, and your comics and you were all sitting around making old people jokes. He said, you know, it's hard enough getting old. 
and going through all the things that people have to go through when they're older, whether it's health or uh, just uh, the, the, the kind of the diminishing of your, of your life. And uh, he said, that's bad enough without having people on the radio making fun of you. He said, you gotta realize ageism is one of the, the last unfought uh, wars out there. And he said, it's terrible because people have a hard enough time getting old without having somebody making jokes about them. And after that day, I stopped making jokes about old people. So, what, he won't have George Jessel on his show anymore? What do you mean? <laughs> what, what, what was that? George Jessel always made jokes about old people. No, he didn't. No? No. I, no, no, that's no, what I was... No, he didn't. Uh, all right. Oh, boy. So, I mean, look, you could say, look, I mean, you got a lot of old comics. I think as comics get old, they're not going to make old, old, old people jokes, okay? Yeah. Uh, well, talking about uh, people in infuriating other people, what, yeah. if you were on... Back, if, to, if you back, were on, back to talking if, about Phil. Yes. Yeah, if you were on an airplane mm -hmm. and somebody asked you to give up your seat... Uh, and you had a premium seat. You know, you're a tall guy. You pay the extra money for, you know, the, the seat with a few inches of additional leg room. Mm -hmm. But somebody is sitting next to you, and their companion is separated. And they ask you to give up your seat. Would you do it? If you were giving it up also for a seat that wasn't as good. Well, well it, 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 to begin with, you're talking about a seat that's not as good. That, right. that, then you would maybe have some kind of an argument about, well, I paid extra for this seat, and that's why I'm sitting in it, you know. Right. But chances are that person who's sitting next to you also paid a premium, and his spouse, who may be sitting in another row, right. has exactly but the, same, can, has the same, same kind of seat, in which case I would switch. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Uh, you know, because passengers are getting more unruly, and they're fighting... You know, they're fighting with one another. Uh, and uh, they just today had to turn a plane around because uh, passengers were, were arguing with one another. You know, I, I've, never, uh, I've never encountered that in the air, you know, but uh, it's getting more and more prevalent. And, yeah, I've uh, never encountered that much hostility in the air, but, you know, could well be. Yeah. I haven't taken a flight in God knows how long, you know. Yeah. So I couldn't. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, I want to talk about uh, uh, ch uh, Chat CPD or uh, GPT or Chat AI, uh, but I also uh, wanted to mention that NPR is laying off ten percent of their jobs. Yes, uh, they are. Twelve hundred people. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, Supreme Court is hearing uh, 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 cases on Section Two Hundred and Thirty, which is the Internet Protection that uh, Trump tried to eliminate, and now uh, the Supreme Court is listening to it to say that uh, Internet providers uh, like uh, like um, Facebook have a duty to uh, uh, to report the truth or, or to... Uh, I don't think you, know, you truly understand what's going on in the Supreme Court with this thing. They're being no, asked... Go ahead. They're being, you know, being, hey, I bring up the topic, and you're, being, the, you're the... They're being asked to, to rule about... Uh, the internet and the justices said and have and did say in this particular case you know we're not exactly the best people to make a determination about something that is technical you know we're, we're only judges it, it's not a first amendment issue it's not a first amendment issue necessarily i mean everybody wants to get the you know i say let the internet do what the internet's going to do and I say, let, just let them do it. You know, let it be a free-for-all. Because it, the bottom line is that they're going to want to make money. And if they're going to want to make money, they're going to they're gonna want to make sure they make uh, a lot of money. And they're not yeah. going to make a lot of money if they're pissing people off. Yeah. Do you remember when everything on the Internet was free? What do you, you mean, know? everything on the Internet? Well, everything on the Internet. I, I don't remember a time when the Internet was free. Uh, well, no, but uh, all the information you could you could look up any information, read any newspaper. Now, you still can. Uh, everybody wants to monetize. Well, everybody, uh, yeah, a newspaper doesn't want to give you their newspaper for free, but you right. can still have access to that kind of information somewhere on the internet. 
You know, yeah. it's not like, I mean, come on. Things were always a lot cheaper in the beginning because they were trying to establish an audience and a, and a patronage. Once they didn't even have state sales tax uh, if you bought something uh, on I the mean, internet. I could say, do you remember when all these streaming services were much cheaper? Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. All of the, you know, you've got a lot of um, subscriptions. And I, and everything is subscription based. If, if you you, yeah, but you, you, can listen, at, you but you can listen to this program without subscribing to it. Your program. Yes. Yes. Uh, one of the few. But what do you mean uh, one of the few? Else, I can listen. I go to YouTube. How many how many videos are free up there to watch? Yeah, there's a number of them. But I mean, then they, they sometimes say, if you want, yeah, if you want the premium content. You got to go to my Patreon channel and pay uh, in order well, that's to get up to some. That's up to somebody if they want to charge for it. You know, yeah. uh, that's up to them. Uh, it, you can either get a huge audience that doesn't pay, or a smaller audience that does. Well, you know, back in the day, for instance, Adobe. I used to be able to buy Lightroom and Photoshop and all of these programs, and it was good for a few years. You got a few updates yeah, for but free. But how much did it cost? Uh, several hundred dollars. Called, I, fact, remember, I, I remember. I remember. Seven hundred dollars for uh, Photoshop. Well, Photoshop, you can't buy Photoshop alone. I know. Now it's fifty bucks a month. Yeah, it's fifty. Bu it's fifty. Well, no, it's not fifty bucks a month. Uh, Photoshop all cents. by itself is like. 30, no, twenty nine, I think, or maybe maybe nineteen. Uh, uh, there's a there was a ten dollar. I spend fifty dollars. I spend fifty dollars a month on Adobe, in order yeah. to get the entire suite. In other words, I get the audio program, I get the video program, uh, I get Photoshop. You know, I get a bunch of other things. So I get their whole suite of programs. The only problem is, is I can't just say, hey, well, I want the audition and I want Photoshop and I want Premiere, but I don't want the rest of this stuff. That well, I can't do. You to be able to buy no, that. No, if you buy more than one right. in Adobe's studio, you right. have to buy the whole studio. That's correct. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, hey, but, that's that was there. When they first went to that model, I went, wait a minute, they're charging one price for something, you know, a, a month? Uh, how many people are going to buy this? They're well, making more money now than when they. Oh, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's six hundred. Six hundred dollars a year. Yeah, um, and you know, but I've got but I've got other choices. For yeah. instance, when it comes to the video program, which is called Premiere, there's a program that's absolutely free for the bottom line, but is it doesn't have watermarks. It doesn't have anything else. It's just a few less features than you would buy, and that's DaVinci Resolve. Be better mm. video program than Premiere. Yeah, no, and no, so far no. as audio programs are concerned, uh, there's, uh, what, what's the one uh, that Audacity I... Audacity or Audacity, something? Audacity, you can do that. That's free if you want an audio program. And if you want something like Photoshop, I'm sure you can find something out there that will do most oh, yeah. of the things yeah. you want Photoshop to do. Yeah, But I'm, you know, I'm pretty much into the well uh, so you're so adobe you're so you're you're buying you're buying into adobe that's it you know yeah big deal you know well let's see uh oh biden do you know that they're doing fake you mean AI that old speech? fart you mean that old fart that old fart they're yeah. doing fake ai speeches with Vi Biden's voice. Now. Oh yeah, they can do that. And, yeah, you know, and, uh, they, but they, that's nothing new. They've been doing that for years now. Well, I, I guess it's becoming rampant now. Uh, all of these AI chat things. I mean, what they call deep fakes, where they take yeah. a, they they have. A I open, saw that one, the Seinfeld one. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. good. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, they can deep fake anything. They but they've yeah. been deep faking for maybe five years now. So that's nothing new. You know, I mean, you just got you just heard about it because you saw it on the news. Right. Yeah. So uh, Bing and Baird and all these other chat services, uh, are they're fighting with people. Bing is Bing is not a chat service. Well, no, they have Bing, uh, uh, Microsoft AI. Bing is, chat. A, Bing is a browser that's run yeah. by Microsoft, who has a large investment AI in, chat. The, uh, I, uh, in the chat GDP. Or well, I, I guess there was a glitch. It said it wanted to be human, 
uh, uh, in, a, in a conversation. And then in another conversation, it said to someone, I, I'm Sydney, and I'm in love with you. And uh, then also these AI chat things, people have been asking a lot of questions. So Microsoft has limited it to 50 questions a day that you can ask AI chat. And uh, the, it seems as though some, some of these chat services have actually said, uh, you're a bad person. Uh, uh, you're not nice. And, uh, yeah, but what, and, what, and but they, what's, what's, what's the harm in any of that? Well, there's no harm, but these these conversations are they're getting into arguments. Uh, people are arguing with the AI. Listen, they're actually, I, I I showed a while back where uh, I asked it about me to write something yeah. about me in the style of oh I don't know, um, uh, Tennessee Williams or something you know, yeah. and uh, they wrote a biography about me and was completely wrong on the facts. Well, yeah, I, you sent that to me. I read it. I thought it was pretty good. No, it wasn't it, good. It was only it was flattering. Okay, yeah. but it, when it came to the facts of like, uh, well, I, I I started out in the in the seventies. No, I started yeah. out in the fifties. You know, I worked for uh, WABC in New York. I never worked for WABC in New York. Yeah. Well, I I know that it got a couple of facts wrong. What do you mean? It got I, most of the facts wrong. Uh, it, it was. It, says it wasn't it, bad. It, you can fix that. You can edit those things. If I edit, it's easier for me to just write it. Well, maybe for you. Uh, let's see. So, uh, oh, uh, so the AI chat uh, that was done. It isn't on called my AI phone. chat. It's not called AI chat. It's called chat. Hold on a second. I'll tell you in a second. Uh, chat. Well, uh, GBT. GBT. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it said that one uh, chat said the AI said it wanted to be human, and uh, they they cut that off. So I guess those are those are some of the uh, some of the issues. Um, uh, yeah. Something good, you know. You you've been touting your Apple Watch for a while. You just jump around from one thing to another. Don't yeah, you? I know. I, I write them on post its, and they're all over the place. Uh, your Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. Do you know that they're gonna? That's gonna be a glucose monitor. Uh, you know, I have this thing on my arm, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, uh, hooks up to my phone. Now, do you hook? Now, does that, that has a pin on the other side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have. I'm to, able to check. So my, it's a permanent needle in you. Uh, for two weeks until I change it. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I just switch up arms. Yeah. And uh, what it's done is it gives you uh, continuous uh, glucose monitoring mm -hmm. so you can see if you eat a certain food, how does it uh, affect your sugar? Mm -hmm. Well, the Apple Watch is going to be able to do that without the needle. Uh, it's, it's going to be a continuous glucose monitor. And uh, the information that you get from these monitors can really help people in they're, they're lim again Phil they're limited I mean you've got to understand they're limited uh, they're mm -hmm. limited in their abilities uh, even at the present time I mean I uh, you I have a thing where I can I can go do my uh, uh, what do you call it uh, monitoring the heart what do they call that uh, oh uh, yeah the, uh, uh, and that's not EKG it's an AKG or something it's not the same um, so I just uh, my my glucose. I just did it. It's 128. Uh, mm -hmm. All I did was hold the phone up to that monitor. But I mean, like uh, I can do something here. I go to uh, let me see here, uh, blood oxygen level, and mm -hmm. then I simply start it, and I sit here and I don't move my hand, and I go for about 11 seconds. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, getting there. Five, four, three, two, one, and my current blood oxygen level is ninety-eight percent. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, that means uh, you know that's very good. Yeah. You know. uh, um, however, uh, you know it, it. 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 They do have. Think you know they do say things about you know what what it's good for and not good for. And it, mm -hmm. uh, it it they cover themselves. Here's my e EKG. That's here, what you're trying no, to think of. ECG. ECG. Okay. Uh, I have to keep my finger on the on the thing. 
I have my EKG and I'm taking it right now. Now it's not an, uh, uh, no, it's an ECG, electrocardiogram, mm -hmm. not an EKG. Um, I don't know the difference. There's a difference, uh, but uh, this isn't as, it says, uh, note Apple Watch never uh, checks for heart attacks. Oh, okay. Well, you know, if you, okay. So my, uh, this EKG, is a ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Apple Watch cannot check for signs of a heart attack. If you believe you're having a heart medical emergency, call a <laughs> call nine one one. So I mean, they're you know they're, they're not they're not that great with it. You know? Yeah. Well, um, I I guess uh, of course you know, of what, course what if, it is, if it's not sending any information, it probably says you've just had a heart attack and you're dead. You know. Yeah. So. Well, I would imagine eventually it'll do that. Yeah. Um, so East Palestine. Uh, do you think that the reason that they're that uh, FEMA and the president hasn't gone there yet is he thinks that it's all Jews Palestine yeah. <laughs> uh, what was Trump doing there today he was handing out water and food <laughs> was he really yeah and it was Trump was, water. He, th was, he, was, he, was he throwing the water out water had his th label on it with his name was he throwing out toilet paper too uh, well it's a pretty shitty situation over there. Uh, but uh, anyway. Doesn't uh, he understand nobody really wants him anymore? Well, uh, probably not. I think his days have come and gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hey, what's the weather like by you? Well, by the way, what did you think? What did you think of Biden going to Ukraine? Uh, I thought it was a ballsy move. Um, in, in a way, I'm glad he did it. Uh, now, the people in East Palestine feel that uh, he should have... But that's in Ohio. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> yeah. but they feel that it was President's Day and that he should have made an appearance there because that's, you know, they need, they need the help. What... But what is he going to do by being there? Let me ask you this question. You know, it, it, presidents go to these uh, areas and they look at them, but they don't see any better a view of them than they would see if they were watching it on television. Well, I okay? guess it's you talk to the people, you get to understand what's going on there. You, you and can, what you can understand the people by doing a Zoom call. In other words, there are any number of things you can do. I, I, by going I agree. there, By going there, it's like you're being Trump. You're just grandstanding. I, I agree, although there is a certain amount of uh, moral support that people who have been through this kind of devastation, their whole lives have mm -hmm. been overturned. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, having the, the leader of the free world show up is is a good uh, thing well thank you for t then saying the good reason why he went to uh, ukraine well i also said that going to ukraine was a very ballsy move and i thought that it was a very positive thing mm -hmm. and it gave uh ukraine certain credibility because you also mm -hmm. have china and russia uh supporting one another and and getting together and i think that it uh, it helped that he went there and then went to poland to uh, to uh, secure tanks and other what, to secure uh, what tanks. T You're, welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I, I thought I thought his uh, his going there was a was a was a good thing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the better things he's done during his administration. Well, I, I felt he should have done it earlier. I mean, he had other opportunities. He was that close before. But he didn't do it, and I, I felt that uh, he, it, it just looks like a, a president who's got a little bit of a stomach, you know? Yeah. For this no, stuff, I, you know? Uh, I, and you I could hear, he uh, was there, and those bombs, you could hear him going off while he was walking down the street. Sound effects. Sound effects, right. Uh, well, let's yeah. start bringing some of these people in sure. here. Let me well, I, I'd asked you about your weather, because, you know, we're due for a blizzard in, in, Northern, in California. They're mm -hmm. saying that there's going to be snow in LA mm -hmm. and uh, we're having uh, brownouts and blackouts mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, finally wait a minute he's walking down the street wait a minute it's it's Jeff, Jeff. Jeff 
It's me. Uh, let's uh, start. Oh, it's you. It's you. Is it Oscar Scott? Boddicker? Okay, we got Scott Boddicker there, and we got uh, Alan, and we got Charlie, and we got Brian, and Jeff is there somewhere. There we go. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah. You, you know how painful it is for us to sit here and listen and wait to come on. Yeah, Thank very, you. very. Five after. Well, tell us, tell us how painful it is. Okay. Yeah. And and describe that pain in excruciating detail. Uh, I don't know why you. I put just had a pinched nerve, person. and I'd rather have that pinched nerve back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. That's a good. That's a good description of Phil. He's like a pinched nerve. Yeah. I, you know, in the in the first thirty minutes, we found out he knows nothing about medicine, which we knew. Yeah. <clears throat> he he's ageist, which we know. Yeah. And he knows. And, nothing and I don't about like medicine. fat people. Well, turn, and he knows nothing. Down a little bit. And so so it's, it's fat people thing too. He doesn't like. And he knows nothing about the AI stuff that's going on on the internet. He reads two lines. And he's an expert, like most Republicans. Yeah, and he doesn't realize much. that Rick Scott is a moron. Oh, okay. But uh, talking about morons, we also have zombies. There, did you hear Social about this Security thing called Trang? Medicare do not contribute one fucking penny to the deficit. There is no reason to have to All he said, them every five years. That you guys bullshit. keep talking about Medicare and, and oh. Social Security. He it's, talked yeah. about sunsetting in title every federal law needs to be sunsetted every five years yes every and, law. well he changed he changed that would include freedom of speech wouldn't it yeah oh, that's in the constitution oh, okay so uh yeah they'll vote on that every five years too uh do you ever hear of this stuff called trang no no Next. Next. <laughs> no. It's a drug. We, we don't care about it. We haven't heard about it. We don't need to hear about it. Well, Alan uses it. It's mixed with fentanyl. and uh, I don't know about fentanyl. I don't care about fentanyl. I don't take fentanyl. <laughs> Next. All right. So what do you care about, Brian? I take fentanyl for headaches. Yeah? Uh, yeah. All the time. Continually. It works good. Yeah, it works you take good. about one, one milligram. Which would be equal to about a a thousand milligrams of morphine. You'll be fine. Yeah, Alan. I'll be fine. Be feeling yeah. good. Yeah. If yeah. it's mixed with Trang, uh, it makes your skin rot. Trang Nguyen is Tiffany's cousin. Yeah. Yeah. Really. <laughs> a dealer. Just called her a dealer. Yeah. Now you're putting down Brian. And now you're. Now Brian you're, was putting down me. He's ageist. He's fattest. He's and now. Now he's uh now he's racist against Asians. That's what else? true. Do you, do you have anything else you want to be? Uh, yeah. You, what's next on your uh, list? Yeah, uh, I want to be see pretty. If in, <laughs> see if we're interesting. What's next on your list, Phil? Yeah. Well, I'll I'll, I'll get there. Hey, hey by the way, uh, did you did you notice Biden tripping going up the stairs to the plane today? Wasn't that hilarious? That was great. I loved it. Yeah. 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 It was he's a real trip. Yeah. Hey. Uh, oh. Now, oh, what about you know, all the times that Trump tripped on? on, on we're that? having no, these. No, 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 no. Forget now. about it. I would rather see Biden trip than see toilet paper on Trump's shoe going up. There. <laughs> that was great. Uh, yeah. I, you you want to see Biden trip? What on brown dot or window pane? You know, every time Phil says "Hey," yeah, hey. you know, you know what's coming. Go yeah. ahead, Phil. The only right. thing he doesn't do is that after he tells a joke, he doesn't say, but seriously, folks. <laughs> I, I hear that Trump used that piece of toilet paper to wipe his mouth later on. <laughs> no, isn't that the one you were chewing on? Hey, um, Brian. Hey, um, here we go, yes. Hey, uh, you know, yeah. the last couple of days, we've been having brownouts and blackouts. In the no, Bay. we haven't. I haven't no, had, a, I haven't I had, haven't one had either one. Not well, around this area. Uh, in I Oakland. Hear. Uh, the, the, um, in Oakland, <laughs> the airport, the airport was was without electricity. There was fifty thousand customers in Oakland. Uh, in the Alameda airport, County. fifty thousand customers in, the a lot of in Oakland and Alameda County that uh, were without power. Uh, now they want us to have these cars. They're mandating that we get uh, battery. They're not mandating cars. that you get. They're, they're, who, who's mandating it? 
Nobody's California. mandating it. Nobody's mandating that you get a car. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, no, no. I they're mandating that you can't buy any new uh, gasoline cars after 2030. No, that's incorrect. Done that yet. That's incorrect. You mean you? That's incorrect, Phil. Newsom said <sighs> that he uh, that there was not going to be any more. Okay. Bottom line here is that if this is the case, our grid, Charlie's grid, cannot uh, sustain charging all of these cars. How do you know? Because Charlie sat in the dark for three days. Yeah, he was in the dark forever down there. Forever. And then I, uh, my TV well, let me was ask, going hold on, on and on. Just How do you know that they're, that they're not able to support all this, Phil? It's very simple. Charlie sat Char in the dark for three I'm not years. Charlie, Charlie. Uh, hold you're, on you're a talking second. about brownouts and blackouts in Oakland right. and Alameda County, and right. then you say we're supposed to have all these cars. How are we going to support it? So I'm not talking That's about right. uh, not talking about Texas. I'm talking about here. How do you know we're not able to support that? Well, because we're we're not opening up any new power plants. Uh, the is we're decommissioning all the nuclear uh, reactor plants. So therefore. We're not uh, uh, putting in any new power uh, availability in this state. But seriously, but folks, Oakland what do you think Alameda you're going to do? was not because of Teslas. Was yeah, not because what do you of think you're going to do? You, you're going to win power? Hold on. Hold on. It? Hold on. Hey, just, but shut. it was not because of electric cars. You're saying that you have this, and now you're not going to be able to support this. Char we have blackouts anyway. Charlie, how yeah. much of an impact does an electric car have on the electricity in general, we're missing the well, point. Li li no. You less listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. What? But you're missing the point. What? Go ahead, Charlie. And, and there's a lot of solar I, going I up. Also, hear Charlie's answer. No, it's virtually zero impact on electricity. I know. Well, Jack says his electric bill isn't affected one bit about that's solar. That. Well, he's got that's on, and that's another. You're talking about we're not putting up power plants. We're putting up a lot of solar on yeah. houses around the country and you can power your car perfectly fine with solar. I'm not saying that the cars are taking the power. I'm saying that you're not going to be able to charge the cars when you have blackouts due to other reasons. The, no, because the electric how, how does a house how does a house with solar and battery backup have a blackout, Bill? Tell us. There's no sun out. You know, you don't. Uh, there, you can't have solar on your house in a lot of areas. Uh, th there are tons of areas where solar isn't is is not uh, a viable. And why is that? Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah, there you go. No, th th there's areas that you know. Even uh, on days, even on days where it's overcast over, and even yeah. raining, you're still yeah. getting your solar solar panels are still being charged. Yes, but maybe and, and, not at the rate. That you need yeah, to, to Phil. Uh, Phil, you, you know, know nothing about. Listen, uh, forget about it. You know nothing about science. So when it comes to science, just shut the fuck up. I was going to him for my medicine too. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh yeah, to uh, Tony, Tony comes to me for all his medical advice. I put him on speaker when I was with the oncologist. Can you hold? Can you repeat what you just said, please? <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, Jeff. I don't know if anybody I knows, but in New York State. Yes. They are going. He sounds like EF on He's so low. I'm sorry. I'm going to, in New York State, in I think it's five years, when you buy a car, it ought to be a battery operated car. Period. I would, I, I, I would go along with that, except I would make an exception. I think they could be hybrids for a while. You know, well, that's fine. So, Jeff, yeah. are you saying that New York has said that no, by they, 20, they ha they haven't. 27, no, uh, that like you, that, it, it has to be a, uh, an electric car? Yeah. yeah because in California, I believe they said 2030. Yeah, I don't no, think, I don't, I don't, I don't think oh. uh, Kathy Hochul said that, but I think she wanted to encourage the use of electric yeah. automobiles. But these electric cars are very expensive. Well, all cars are expensive. Well, but you know, you you can you can get into an electric car for what? What's the cheapest one out there? Uh, uh, now we go to our 50, other expert, Brian. Five thousand. Yeah, something. yeah. They just lowered the price ten thousand for the Teslas, so they're like they were sixty four. Now they're fifty four. Yeah, but aren't there some other brands that are yeah, cheaper? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Only thirty five thousand. What yeah, are you talking like about? Leaf and both? those type. Yeah. 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 
you know, and as as the as they start making more and more of them, and as they become the norm rather than the uh, uh, the exception, I think you're going to find that they get they get cheaper and more inexpensive, and the batteries get cheaper, and you know things like that. So, yeah. It may be. Is Phil it frozen? Will take a number of years. I think Phil frozen. Oh yes, he is. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Oh How'd you do that, Alex? That's awesome. Yeah, but unfortunately, <laughs> say so. unfortunately, <laughs> Phil, are you there? It's like Nostradamus. No, oh, it's, it's, like, it's like, it's like a yeah. fire will come from the sky and goes frozen. Oh. <laughs> Phil, are I you there? Oh, 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 you don't oh. think there was an earthquake by him? Do you didn't want like, to hear why those black <laughs> I know, we would, you uh, know, I think what? No, I'll tell you what it was. I'll tell you what it was. It was all those Teslas drawing power from his house. He probably had a brown out in his neighborhood. Uh, yeah, could have been, could have been. You know. There's no problem. I mean, the, the it was windy last night. So what? Oh wait a minute, Phil just sent me a message. Electric, electric is down. <laughs> oh my god! Is he joking? <laughs> I don't pray to God very many times, but thank you, whatever you did. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> on the, let's see if the electric's really down. I have a website called United oh, really? Power. Yeah. A lot of California is because of the winds. But sometimes you can't tell uh, if, if for a while until it gets reported, say. That's, yeah, a, that's right. one of the problems. Well, yeah. you know, actually, in the county he's in, they have 33 people that are out. Those are all the Republicans, <laughs> probably. I, I will say something about the electric cars. You know that they, they everybody is converting over, though. You know, I know they have all these rules and stuff that they're trying to do by thirty. And it's twenty thirty five, but right. for California, but but um, I mean, even look at you know the new McLarens, the new Ferraris. All of these are coming out hybrids now, yep. and they're even the new Corvette. There's a hybrid that they're experimenting with. So, I mean, all even going up to these big, you know, exotic cars, everybody's really turning that way. So, I don't know if it's going to go that way, but, I mean, they showed the McLaren. I test drove one a couple months ago, and, I mean, the cool thing is you start it up, and there's no noise at all. You can go up to 70 miles like that, and then it charges while you're driving. The Teslas, when you let off the gas, it it gets that charge back it's slowly, very, very slowly. But when I test drove the McLaren, it actually takes that that motor and gets the energy from that so it'll max that power out again and then as the car warms up the motor warms up then it'll turn on later while all the the fluid are you, get, are you getting stuff. a new mclaren the battery oh power? no no they're not that expensive but no, no. how much are they and oh, like they're 240 right now oh good that's an that's a reasonable car a california <laughs> it's not a it's not a Three hundred thousand dollar house, you know how that goes, right? <laughs> so you buy that car, you still you still take the equity from your house and get the loan. <laughs> yeah, what were you what were you saying, at, at Charlie? They're, they're they're improving the range on the cars too. There's one car I saw that's getting four hundred miles on the charge. I saw yeah. one. That, I saw one that's getting yeah. five hundred. I think the Tesla. I think the Tesla yeah. top of the line gets yeah. five hundred. Yeah, uh, the, no, it's six fifty. Huh? No, it's the Lucid. The Lucid is 500 now. Yeah, what oh, okay. were you going to say, uh, Scott? You were saying something? Well, I thought I'd looked that Tesla up once, and I, it was closer to 650, I thought, Alex. What, the, the, the one that gets 600, 500 yeah, miles? Yeah, but it was, like a, it was like a, you know, a $300,000 car, too, or something. Yeah. And that was the one with the long extension cord, right? <laughs> Solar panels. They did try it, and there, there's one really, actually really sexy car, and, um, oh man, I'm blanking out what, it, what its name now, but that one, they tried solar panels on the roof, and it was production cars, um, mm -hmm. oh man, can't remember that name, but yeah. You know what Phil could do, but he can't hear us right now, so he, if he has no electricity, he does have his phone. And he could he could call no, us no using his phone. Yeah, no, no. yeah, that's what I did for four days. I mean, but I'm sure he knows he knows this already. So something else must be happening because he's yeah. Not. He got pissed because everybody ganged up on him. <laughs> give him a call there. Uh, I'm going to right now. Yeah, right now, on. give him a call. Let's see what's happening with. Uh, you uh, want you want me to put it on the air? Hold on, I'll actually call him. I think it was God. 
getting even with him. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna... yeah tell him if he calls on his phone, his phone will blow up. I'm calling on his phone. Uh, Maybe it is. Really? Well, why don't you get back on the show on your phone? Uh, well, I'm trying to reboot the computer. I, I got it back. It's on that Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do you reboot a computer if there's no power? Uh, the uh, circuit breaker popped. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 so it was a computer. Oh, oh that I was even okay. that was even more an act of God. Oh, that can hit. We must have had the toaster on with the computer. <laughs> <laughs> My mother used to do that, Alex. Tony said you switch. must have had the toaster you on. Couldn't put the air conditioner on. Do with the on do <laughs> the breaker. Don't uh, don't don't okay. dig, don't okay, get me. Okay, well we have nothing to talk about. We're just all sitting here in silence. So get back yeah. on. In the chat yeah, because room, without you here, there's chat. nothing to talk about. Yeah, there's a Chevy Bolt that costs only twenty-seven dollars. Right. Right. Really? You got bad circuitry in that place. What? Oh, yeah, he Bolt. doesn't. He never has problems like this. Well, if he had slap I thought Walnut Creek was upscale. Yes, it is very upscale. Is it upscale? That yeah. box. He, lives, <laughs> he lives two blocks from a Nordstrom's, if that gives you an idea. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. really? I mean, literally, literally two blocks away. From a Nordstrom's. Wow. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't shop there. He goes to the say. market, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. I would think he would be better dressed than he is if he lived near Nordstrom's. Jeez, that's pretty classy, isn't it? No, that's usually like in Long Island or something. No, Nordstrom is uh, uh, Nordy's is uh, it's uh, it, it was most expensive, I think, wasn't really? it? Really? Oh, yeah, here, that here. Bloomingdale's or Bloomingdale's. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So you're no. no so uh, wait a minute. Let me see here. So you were talking about electricity, Phil. Is it any sign from from above? that your circuit breaker went while you were trying to show how much you knew about electric? Yeah, no, I, my circuit breaker went because I had the space heater on. See? In, like my mother did it. In this office. They put on the microwave. Well, of course. See, that's the that. microwave in my house was on the back of the house. That's what Tony just said. So, well, you know look, I changed the wiring. All I know is if you were trying to charge your Tesla at the same time that you turn on the microwave, <laughs> boom, it's all over. But anyway, so, um, um, yeah, well, you know, we're, we're glad to have you back, Phil. Don't you I feel bet that, you are. Don't you feel, don't you feel that way, Brian? <laughs> um, Brian is all set. Yeah. yeah. Hey, where's Phil? Brian's trying to figure out how to get your microwave and heater to come back. It's cold out here. We haven't heard from Scott in a while oh, on this yeah, program. Scott. Basically because he doesn't want to call in case you do, Phil. So uh, it's nice to see that he called tonight, and I thank you very much, Scott. Thank you. He usually well, calls our Monday show, actually. Uh, you know. By the way, I, there will be a, hopefully, Jack will be on tonight. I mean, I tried to get that, a system that's going. That's what I was going to say. It, it, he it, called me and told me to call everybody and let him know he's going to be on. Well, we're so hoping. Who did you call? We're hoping. We're hoping. I, I called a few people. Not yeah. you, because they were only the important people. No, yeah. but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, uh, we're we're going to have to see if it works tonight. I, I could not figure out what the hell was wrong with his system, to be very honest with you. Uh, and it was sporadic, and it was erratic. So I hope that we don't have that problem when he goes on tonight. But, you know, it's the solar, huh? It was his solar. That's right. Yeah. He does have solar, no, by the way. Yeah, he does have solar. Oh, wow, yeah. impressive. What do you mean impressive? If you're well, smart, you, do you have solar, Brian? No. Why? So not? How many people? Oh, and no, I. Yeah, I should. If, if I should, I've had the guys come out here and give me all the estimates and all that stuff. So costs about twenty grand to put it in, right? Oh, oh more I than that. Forget, yeah. But oh, the, yeah, oh did that. you do? Did you do it, Scott? Do you have? No, solar? I didn't. But oh. I've looked into it. And I just, it's not. I don't use that much electricity anyway, so it's not. The payouts just doesn't work. Well, it's it's terrific in that. Let's say you don't use all the electricity that you would normally use with the stuff you've got on your roof. If there's any left over, they send it back to the electric company and they buy it from you. You get a yeah. check from them. Not I think Texas not, has got some strange rules that yep. they won't Texas buy won't that. Let you buy it. Like Texas, they, they stopped it. 
So solar in here, I looked into it a few months ago. To get solar panels and and the Tesla Powerwall, which is basically battery backup, forty thousand dollars. <gasps> That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of. I wonder electric. how much money, Alan, it would be before you get your money back from the, the saving. Well, what's your bill? utility bill? Well, my utility bill here. Okay, my utility bill here. It comes to. God, I would say I pay an average of four hundred a month. All right, electricity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. So if it you would take amortize that over. Uh, let's see. Uh, four hundred. That's forty. Oh, now now he's yeah. going to be Mister Math. He's right. taking forever for that. 20, yeah, that, in twenty years that's ninety six thousand dollars. But in twenty years it's going to be a lot more expensive. And you're probably going to need a new month. solar system. <laughs> yeah. the panels are falling. But at that time, the but if you gone. think about it, over the life of the unit, let's say it's a twenty year unit. Yeah. Uh, but in a, in a state where you can sell your electricity back, yeah. some of that works yeah. out. Yeah. You know. Um, but unfortunately, you know, both Scott and Charlie live in a retarded state. Uh, not yeah, them personally, uh, the the place where they live. Yeah. Jeff had his hand up. Yes, Jeff. We're changing our electric system from another supplier at our house. And we're going to save money on it. Good. Uh, I, Does I'm, it come I'm from the same you. people, but it's just different billing? No. Here's, here's uh, what I got to say to you. No. If, if, watch out for that. Those people... They come knocking on your door and they come pestering you and they tell you, we can cut your bill down, blah, blah, blah. They never do. They never See, do. What it is is it's the same company that's selling you the electric, but these people buy it in, in bulk or uh, and then resell it because they're getting a cheaper rate. And then they make well, the, they, they the told difference. me my my business manager said well these people seem like they 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 can say they can save you money so why don't you switch over to them so I switched over to them the first month my bill came it was larger than the one I had had with the regular Con Ed you know so I mean I, those guys are I I had to throw one of those guys out of our apartment house because they were just getting to the point where they were going from door to door lying to people lying yeah. about you know what they could do with their electricity and buying it cheaper and you can get it cheaper and and whatever um no i it must be from the government i would i would double check them jeff just to make sure i already have my friend who's been using it yeah for a couple of months yeah we checked his numbers before and after yeah and, and we're gonna try it well hey i would do it in a second if i thought it was for real but i yeah. i tried it once and the, the electricity I, I, price remember went up. The, the phone companies that used to call you and try to get you to sign up yeah, on, yeah. on their I phone company that. yeah it's just the same thing isn't it no well now it's a different thing altogether because they deregulated the phone company and yeah. so those little and phone companies what and now it costs more yeah mm -hmm. but what i'm saying is you used to have to, if you wanted the main phone company, it got AT&T. That was the phone company. And then they couldn't be the phone company anymore. So they had to compete with other people. So, you know, Sprint and people like that came into the, into the, into the game. Horizon. And, you know, but all of them, you know, so now AT&T, hell, AT&T is not even the number one, I don't think. I think the number one is, I'm thinking it's maybe like uh, T-Mobile. Or something like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, in I this area, it's there's, probably there's Comcast. Verizon and there's AT and T and T Mobile. Comcast in our area supplies a lot of the phone. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, fiber yeah. optic. Anyway. Now I think we're we're all getting ripped off. You remember when Western Electric made the phones and they were such good pieces of equipment. And now, you know, you got these things, you pay a well, thousand of, bucks of for cor them. Of course, a brick doesn't go out on you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those things were made out of, ba remember the they were made out of Bakelite. Yeah. And, and if a, uh, nobody dared break into your home because you could kill them with your phone. With phone. <laughs> if, if you ever got mad at somebody and hung up, it really hung up. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but the other thing was, uh, I often I often felt that the phone company should have, um, AT and T should have come out with an ad about that time, 
saying, Remember the days when you used to get mad and the first thing you would do is rip the phone out of the wall and throw it across the room? And then after you were through with your little fight or spat, you would pick up the phone and you would get your screwdriver and screw it back into those into the in, into the plate. Uh, that phone still worked for years, didn't it? We're <laughs> AT and T. You know, <laughs> right? the strange thing is, those phones had cords that went between the phone and the handset. Oh yeah. Well, oh, and oh, they rarely got tangled. I, I got a cord now. It's called the power cord. No, me. I love the fact that you're, you're acting like that's amazing. Hey, you know, it had a cord between <laughs> the thing and the thing, you know. Uh, the quality of the sound was good, you know. Oh, yeah. No, unless it rained. Yeah. Then it started yeah. crackling. You know. No, yeah. phones weren't better then. They're not as they're not they're any better, better now because everything's digital. Yeah. Yeah, and they're better now because they they really don't go out anymore. You know, I don't. It used to be when I first started getting a cell phone, that used to go through dead spots. Yeah. You know, most common thing you'd say to somebody, "Are you still there?" You know, but that's all gone. You know, you don't hit dead spots anymore. I got a phone in '82. And uh, I had Cellular One, I think, was the name of the company. Yeah. And uh, you could, in San Francisco, you would, you would get reception. But if you drove down Highway 5, uh, you didn't get reception right. again until you got to Los Angeles. Right. There were dead spots. Yeah. Um, and now you can go from coast to coast and there are no dead spots. I, I disagree. You disagree? Oh, you're living in Florida. Yeah. No, no, no. I went from... I went to Florida from Connecticut, and there would be bad spots all the time. Really? You move out of Connecticut then? Yeah. Well, if I stay in Connecticut, I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, you. okay. I'm teasing, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. but I don't. Oh, I, don't I, I drove to Louisville last year. I've never lost connection anywhere. The whole trip, over a thousand miles. In Kentucky? Wow! Imagine that. Yeah. From from Texas to Kentucky, I went through Arkansas even, and I still had a signal. You know, Florida <laughs> doesn't have any mountains, so it's it's. Uh, I would imagine you'd get signal, uh, uninterrupted signal. But if you're in New York City with all of the uh, high rise buildings, uh, is is cell service interrupted quite a bit? Alex, cell no. service here? No. Yeah, no. Service because of the high rise buildings. No. So no. Cell service in New York is the best in the country right now. And I well, have, for Pizza instance, is. I, I'm never going to get b bad, bad, uh, uh, bad signal here because uh, right across the street are some cellular towers. Right. right. On top of the building. Cellular tower. But in, in, in Manhattan, no, for instance, you never have a lot of skyscrapers. Never get dead spots. You know, what? when I used to get dead spots, when I first got cell... And I was in San Francisco. Cellular service in San Francisco was god awful. Yep. Right. Yeah. It was, it was terrible. Mm. Now I imagine they fixed it since then. And I think it was AT and T that was especially terrible. Yeah. At the time. Yeah, I think you're right. But they've all improved, and now you have the five G, and it's clearer, and it's faster, and it's you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I uh, anybody here? Let me just ask this question: Does anybody here literally have a landline phone? No. I am more. Really? You do still, Tony? Yeah, I do. What's your problem? Well, it's been here for so long, we just kept it, really. I know. And you can pick up the phone and talk to your mom, right? You want me to call you from the show right now on the phone? It's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I don't think he has the number anymore. Yeah, I do. No, 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 no. There was a show, a show oh. number. Did you give that up? That was a Skype thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, we got rid of that a long time ago. Yes, uh, Jeff. I think I, I still have one, and the reason I have it is connected to my pacemaker. Oh, yes, okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. So if somebody cuts that line outside, your pacemaker stops? I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jeff, that wasn't too reassuring. You said, I think it's hooked up to my pacemaker. I mean, you better, that's mm. something you should really know I how would, it's I would set up. Yeah, I would I check into that. I would back into that. Just to make sure, you know, 
It's they don't for your bill and say, oh, wow, you know what? You can save $20 a month if you take off your landline, you know? <laughs> Jeez, In this day and age, I bet your pacemaker is wirelessly connected to a base unit. And then that may go to your to your wired, your twisted pair, twisted cable, whatever you want to call it, your yeah. old phone system, right? Yeah, the equivalent yeah. of an AT and T type. Right, right. Yeah. And I, I, my my alarm, my burglar alarm runs through the same. It's not AT and T. I have Comcast, but it's the same thing. Yeah. It's a regular phone, you know, wired phone. Why? If, it, if I didn't have an alarm system, I wouldn't need the phone. Oh, <clears> okay. <throat> All right. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I went from wired phones at work to voice over IP. And tell you the truth, the voice over IP has a lot of problems. Why don't you explain this, that, how that technology works, Phil? <laughs> it's done over the Internet. I mean, it's called VoIP is how, how you I, I, refer to I, it. Yeah, I, I know exactly. Stand for voice over to IP. To I used it. to have VoIP. It, uh, when when I wanted cheaper phone service when I first moved uh -huh. to New York, and then the phone service became so cheap for like long distance calls and stuff, it was just cheaper if you had VoIP. And then all right. of a sudden, you know, they come out with the Apple iPhone and everything, and the prices are one price. You can call anywhere in the country. You, VoIP died that day. Okay, I can't remember yeah, what the did. there was a VoIP company I used, and I can't remember <laughs> what their name was now. So. I'm using Verizon at work, and you know I have like seven or eight phone numbers because each line has to have its own phone number. Uh, and you know, I, why I you know, you're doing something system. illegal? Not with no, voice no, over. No, I used, Not I used with to have voice a Merlin over. system. It was one number and several extensions, <laughs> and now you know with the yeah. VoIP, uh, it's. Uh, well, what 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 does that stand for, Phil? Phil. Voice over IP. Oh, yeah, what's the uh, what does IP stand, stand for? for? Internet yeah. protocol. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Na Very good. He, he, I'll be here all week. He, <laughs> got, he got one yes. thing right tonight. Very good. Yeah, he wins. he wins. I don't know what, but he wins. Uh -huh. Uncurt number three. His, his uh, Gabnet t-shirt. I'll take the Gabnet t-shirt 50, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Size 50? No, no. For 50 bucks. On the Gabnet store. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let me see here. What else? Uh, so uh, let me see. I, I don't know what else to talk about. So good night, everybody. No. You know, no. Uh, they they are having a shoplifting problem in New York, and they're putting canines in stores to uh, try to stop the shoplifters. Oh, yeah. I see them everywhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you think that that's racist? Why would you say that? Why would, Why would be racist? Are they putting dogs in stores to stop shoplifters? Are they using German shepherds and Jews are I stealing? Think so, yeah. What? Yeah, I think I think it's German shepherds. And, and German shepherds don't like anybody other. No, than well, I, all I know, saying? all I know is I went. Back, they were used to hunt slaves. I, 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 I went to my pharmacy uh, the other day. Stopped by my pharmacy. By the mm -hmm. way, we're going in a week from Friday to get our next shot, our sixth COVID shot. Oh my wow. God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alan, did you know about a sixth shot? That's a lot. I didn't know about a sixth no, shot. No, neither did I. Yeah, no, there's a sixth shot now. And we're, we were supposed to get it on Friday, but I have that doctor's appointment, so, you know, whatever. Is this uh, the one that they use for euthanization? <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway. anyway. Yeah, really. <laughs> Folks, don't pay any attention to the guy trying to sell, tell jokes. Just uh, <laughs> avoid him. Um, you know, I mean, oh, oh, by the way, I was watching a documentary on Tesla. Not the car. Mm -hmm. oh, the, the, Nikolai. The guy. Nikolai. Huh? Nikolai. Nikolai Tesla. Nikola Tesla. Nikola yeah. Tesla. Nikola, you're right. Yeah. Um, and and uh, it, was, it was very it was fascinating. I mean, on YouTube. Yeah, There's several of them. Well, no, this one I saw on uh, Amazon Prime. It was done by PBS. I'd seen it before, and I just wanted to watch it again. And the guy was brilliant, but he was robbed. You know, yep. it, he he, <clears throat> for most of his life, did not make any money because when he first started out, he came out. He invented alternating current, 
And he made a deal with George Westinghouse that he would get a royalty of $2.50 for every kilowatt of power that was used Mm. under alternating current. That's correct. And at a certain point, Westinghouse said, this is driving me broke, and I don't think I can keep up with our royalty. And he said, okay, I'll give up my royalty. Just let's keep making. Gave up his shares, his stock. His shares. Had he hung on to it, he would have have died a rich man. He would have been the richest man in America. Mm. Probably. Okay, because the whole country went to AC. I mean, there was some DC out there, but very rarely. Mm. Anyway, he died at... I think he was 87, something like that. Died in the New Yorker Hotel here in New York. Uh, A poor man, destitute. A couple of weeks after he died, the Supreme Court ruled that Marconi didn't invent radio. Guess who did? Tesla. Tesla. Alex Bennett. Right. (laughs) Tesla. And if Tesla had lived he would have been, again, the wealthiest man in America because all the, pa- all the patents that Marconi used to create wireless were no- Nikola Tesla's... Uh, yeah, he used 12 of Nikola Tesla's patents. Yeah, something like 12 of them, yeah. Very important. Yeah. What's that? And, they, yeah. and they literally said Marconi didn't invent the wireless. Nope. He has simply adapted all of Tesla's patents and made it work illegally. Well, he didn't have to yeah. pay him anything. Now, Mark, uh, what? Um, oh, Philo, the, the guy that invented well, the Philo TV. T. Farnsworth invented television. Yeah. yeah. And he was robbed by Sarnoff. And yeah. uh, who was the guy? Is that the guy from CBS that uh, that took the uh, red, green, and blue camera to? Um, there, there was somebody else. I thought it was CBS that uh, robbed somebody else of his patent. No, no, it might have been the cam- uh, the. What it was, what you're thinking of? The camera, the TV camera. No, no what you're thinking of is color television. But that's it, color television. And CBS invented the first color system. I've never had one of those. Which was then approved. About. Which was then approved by. Um, was approved by uh, the FCC as being the color television standard. And what it yeah. was, was there was a giant color wheel that spun. Right, red, green, blue. Right? Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, in the set, in front of the tube, and at a certain rate and so on, so that it perceived that you were getting full color. And they say the color was pretty incredible, but the set was huge because you had to have this wheel that yeah. was rotating, okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, Sarnoff, this just pissed off Sarnoff because he wanted to be the first there with color television. He started a campaign saying that these wheels in the sets could come loose and decapitate your family. <laughs> <laughs> and because of that lie, they switched, the FCC switched their allegiance to NBC and to Sarnoff and RCA for color television because it didn't have a big spinning wheel that would chop your head off. It was just an inferior system, yes. Have uh, you noticed that uh, ever since Phil came back on, Brian's reading all the junk mail at home? <laughs> he, he's just looking up, he's fact-checking me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's right. In the in the, in the in the junk mail flyer talks about Phil Meyer. I was watching I was watching YouTube today, which is what I do with most of my life. I just go from one thing to another to another Certainly, to another. There's a lot of good stuff on YouTube. Yeah, and I saw a thing on Lauren Boebert, and this was on uh, the Young Turks channel, TYT. Who I can't stand the guy, but uh, uh, they were saying, and I don't know how true this is that there's been a lot to support the fact that Lauren Boebert, you know, the, uh, the uh, uh, what, Congresswoman? Colorado. No, uh, Congresswoman from, Congress- where is she, Wyoming or Colorado? Colorado. Colorado. Did you know she worked as a hooker? Yes. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. Ted, 
Ted Cruz fucked her. Yeah, Ted Cruz <laughs> fucked her. <laughs> and she, yeah, and seriously. She, and she, and there was a rumor. I never know seriously. Yeah, yeah, and but, Ted Cruz. I thought she was hot. She became. Oh, lift that up, Brian. Lift it up. I so said. did Santos. He fucked everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Santos got fucked York. by everybody. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, no, what, uh, what it was, she convinced Cruz that he should run for office. No, Cruz for convinced her she should run for Oh, life. really? It was the other that's, way around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That's yeah. correct. I thought she owned a restaurant. Not yeah. anymore. No, that no. Was... She, uh, she, she had a restaurant. Well, she had her, no, she, I think she still yeah. had, I don't know if she still has it, but she, she had, had a restaurant. Her, 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 it, was, it was called a, like, money? like yeah. a rifle, money. rifle cafe mm -hmm. or something like that. You know? yeah. Rifle coffee, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't there some woman in Italy that was a porn star that yeah. became? Yeah. 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 What did she become? She became oh, a member right. of parliament. Member oh. of parliament. Yeah. Yeah. Ran for prime minister, I thought too. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, did she win? <laughs> no, obviously so. not. But you never know. But it was interesting how she was trying to get your vote. Anyway, <laughs> um, but uh, what was her name? God, I used to know all these things. My mind is the Italian one. I don't remember. Yeah, I used to. Know, she had a name. You probably had sex with her. That's why you remember her. Me? Yeah. No. I don't know. It seems like you were the gigolo in San Francisco when you were working here. What do you mean? I was the gigolo in San Francisco. I don't know. Every time you know, once a week or something, you talk about some girl that you dated or. Something like that, or had sex with when you were in some working in San Francisco. I'll tell you, most of the time when I was in San Francisco, on and off, I had permanent girlfriends in certain periods of time. You know, uh, what time was Phil one of them? But, but no, but I, but I mean, I had one girlfriend for most of, for a lot of that time. Believe it or not, but we were always on and off again. You know. She would break up with me, and then she'd get back with me. And we, we broke up 11 times in 11 years. Wow. So when people, it, when people ask me if I ever cheated on her, I have to go, I don't know. Because we're, <laughs> you know, like we break up, and I'd go find people to, you know, to have a good time with. And then we get back together, and, you know. But anyway, that's, old, that's an old story. But... Uh, no, I was, what do you mean a gigolo? <laughs> to begin with, you know, that's such an old He's term. trying to live vicariously through your yeah. old career. I got to tell you, my mother came to visit me here in New York, and I had a couple of girlfriends, right? You know. Uh, I, I met I, one of them. Which Naomi. one? Naomi, you met, but she wasn't my girlfriend at that time. But she came well, to town. You were living with her. I mean, you were in the same, uh, you know, yeah. you were in the apartment. Yeah, yeah. She 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 could stop traffic. She was that pretty. No, it was that she fell down in front of cars. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, uh, no. If if you look at the uh, what is it, National radio Lampoon Re Radio National Lampoon Radio Dinner, the double fold version of it. Um, I'm there with her, and people could see what she looked like. But anyway, no, it wasn't her. Uh, so I uh, let me see here. What was, what was, what was, oh, yeah, so my mother said to me one night when we were sitting there, and she said, you know, she's saying, I don't know if I like the life you're leading. Definitely. You've got too many girlfriends. And then she said the following, what you are is a roué. What does that mean, a roué? A roué. Roué. Like, no, a roué. A roué. It was a term that was probably used during the 20s to describe a man who saw a lot of different women. A man of the streets. A roué. Oh, I was upset. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she called me a roué. And I went, a what? Don't worry, Tony. <laughs> nobody will ever call you that. No, no. They forget me. me. They probably won't Especially even. after the prostectomy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the prostectomy. No, he didn't have a problem. Bill was the only one. Oh that well, had it, that. you know. But yeah, I'll well, tell you, for it, him, it was the radiation and and, and the seeds. You know, they didn't remove my prostate, but they may as well have removed my prostate because my doctor said the thing's flatter than a pancake. 
Yeah. I had to get up with it. Oh, good. You were telling your story about that woman. Remember what your mom? Yeah, Mr. Rue. No, I, was, I was a Rue. Yeah. She's coming out with a smoking jacket and a pipe. <laughs> Yeah, well, what happened was uh, 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 she, she said, well, you know, she says, uh, I don't like the women you're seeing. I said, well, uh, how about that woman, Barbara, that I've been seeing? And she says, uh, no, I, I don't like her. I said, okay, how about my girlfriend, uh, Rhoda? She says, oh, she's nice. I like her. I said, well, let me inform you, Mom. Barbara's aunt and uncle wrote the way we were. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And she's a very successful artist, does book covers and things like that. She was a, you know. And I said, and Rhoda, she's a porn actress. But she liked Rhoda too. My mother, my mother swallowed her tongue practically. I had to put a stick in her mouth to keep her from swallowing it, you know. But I, that's why I was a roué, okay. My my old school Italian grandfather, I took care of him for a little bit. I always had pictures of me with these Asian girls <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. But and then he'd always say, you know, take a book out of Tony's book or page of Tony's book. But he will say, why do you always go out with these slant eye girls? <laughs> yeah. And then I said, well, what about Lisa? Lisa, you like Lisa? He goes, oh, I love Lisa. I said, yeah, she's Vietnamese, but she doesn't look it because she has, her eyes are a little bit different. But I said, she's Vietnamese. He goes, oh, really? <laughs> I said, oh, my God. I told you my uncle, God rest his soul, he was a funny guy. i never forget this. It was a birthday party. He was crazy, Tommy. He was just nuts. My father's older brother, but a nice guy. And one of my Chinese friends was there, and he goes, hey, chopsticks, give me a piece of cake. My mother wanted to take the cake and smash it over his face. She says, Leo, you can't. He thinks he's funny. It's not funny. The kid's 10 years old. They don't call him chopsticks. Well, I got to tell you, I know this guy. <laughs> this guy who to this day refers to Chinese food as chinks. That's me. That's That's funny, huh? Do you know my mother? Know there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> we got a Christmas card from Grand China, me and my mother. That's how much we owe them on you. They send us a Christmas card. I never forget that. She got so excited. I said, Mommy, must be like the best customer. Yo, mother, mother, mother. She, they, they, I used to always do their voice on the phone. Mom, they got, I used to climb and they used to come so fast because it was like three blocks away. Bobby Slayton had part of his act was doing yeah. a Chinese bag lady. Uh, it, it was hilarious. <laughs> I, I know he probably doesn't do it anymore. He doesn't but, do his act anymore. Yeah. 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 That, that was hilarious. The, uh, he was so good at that. Well, he used to have a lot of material about Chinese. Oh, but really? I was learned weird. about Jews. Huh? And about Jews. Chinese food. Well, well, have you Bob, ever seen Bobby Slayton? Bobby Slayton never did any jokes about Jews. Yeah. Uh, yeah Chinese yeah, joke. I, bag bag, bag lady. What? There's a video on YouTube where he's doing stand-up, and he put a Jewish joke in there. Oh, okay. One a, Jewish a joke. A Jewish joke. A Jewish a joke. joke. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah. Yeah. What are you going to my medical school now? Like to medical school. I got you at the bookshelf. <laughs> Phil says to drink this. And drink yeah. time. Okay. So anyway, so um, Tony, don't listen to anything Phil says about medical stuff. Talk about science, I economics. Look, well, he was right about the peeing a little bit. I have to say that. What? Like sometimes at night I have to go a little more if I'm having my coffee and it makes me get up. I there. don't go all night now. No. Really? It'll, okay. It'll go away, Tony. It it just takes some time. Yeah, I'm only uh, once or twice a night. You know, maybe oh, I get up at one, age, and then uh, then when I get up, maybe at three. I I go once or twice a night, and I don't have prostate cancer. Thank God. Well, yeah. You can always hope. No, stop that. He <laughs> said that's terrible. <laughs> He's terrible. To me. I don't wish it on another guy. <laughs> you got me right. You got the Tony. Well, you know, it, it's it's not a coincidence that a lot of people that call this show get pro, uh, get prostate cancer. Yeah, yeah, you know? That's the first thing when I heard that. I was like, you know, Phil was right, I think. Name, <laughs> yeah, name a lot of people. I'm, I'm looking at uh, uh, seven people on the show. They don't and, and five of them don't have prostate cancer. Well, no, three uh, of them have had pro I had well, prostate three of them, cancer. I'm sorry. That's There's right. Three. three of them have. Well, that's if you consider that's we've a got a pretty what, high percentage. What do we got right here, including me? We got uh, eight people, and if uh, five of them didn't have prostate cancer and three did, that's a pretty high percentage, right? Yeah. 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 
And then you got Vern and others that, you know, are Vernon, calling. Vernon tonight. we're calling tonight. He had it. Right. You know. So prostate cancer tends to be, and then you're going to say this is ages, oh. but it's not. It tends to be a disease of older people, well, older men. No, no, women, no. no. Let, let, me, let me explain it. Let me explain it. It was the guy from Czechoslovakia who was 39 when he got it. What yeah. was David Haycheck? Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you if you get prostate cancer as uh, as Tony did early at his young age, it's a little more dangerous than it is when you're my age, which was like 80. That's right. Uh, okay, and the reason is if you all of you live long enough, chances are you'll get prostate cancer. I mean, it's just in the cards, just the way things go. Person. But, but. You have to live that long. So that's why when you say old people get prostate cancer, it's because they live that long, not because, you know. Yeah, well, I, I was going to make another point, another half a point to this. Older people get it, and it, we don't have 40-year-olds on the show. Most of the people that are on this show are older. Well, years ago, David Haycheck used to call. And he was 39. He was 39. He was 39. 39. Yeah. And uh, w when he got it, and he okay, one person, Phil. Well, yeah. wait a minute. and then one, there's Tony. Your, your Tony is probably close to forty. Mandy, T Tony's pretty young. Well, yeah. I was fifty-three. I'll be fifty-four. Yeah, but uh, I was sixty. Alex, that's young. Oh, he's a kid. I was kid. sixty-three when I got prostate cancer. Young to me too. You're you're uh, ten years younger than me, Tony. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's, it's got a, more hair than I do. That's for sure. You're a lot more skinny than I am. Mm -hmm. I try. Mm -hmm. The doc said you're in good health. I says I just had radiation. So do, do I? Do I look healthy, everybody? Do I look? Yeah, healthy? I think you do. I look I healthy. Think so. I don't look. Uh, yeah, don't on. listen to Phil talking about your kidneys going out. Oh, and Alan, Tony is a lot funnier than you too. Well, I laugh at myself. I don't really care anymore, so it doesn't bother me. You can insult me. I think you had coffee tonight. Thank you. I did. Yeah. Thank now you. it's like. You know what? I used to take things seriously. I don't anymore after this last year because it's like, who cares? I mean, I really don't. I've changed totally now. Good, Tony. I'm glad you told me that. I cut his mic. <laughs> yeah, that's I, good. I don't even know why I'm why I'm whispering because he can't even hear so what Tony, I'm saying. So, Tony, tell us, uh, how do you feel about uh, what, what's happening today? Yeah. That's good. That's good, Tony. That's yeah. what we do to Tony when he's had too much coffee. Oh, what Charlie, you, don't rat it, him out. What does it, it say there? What did you put up, Charlie? What, what's the it sign? Said you're muted. I, mean, I can't see. Oh, you're That's muted. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll unmute you, Tony. So you're, you can you're assuming Tony can read. I'm going to ask him to unmute. Okay. There I'm you go, muted. Tony. Yeah, there you go. I feel pretty good. You're feeling pretty good. That was a good story. I went to my scan Monday, and they said, oh, everything looks good. How do you feel? I said, I feel fine. He said, that's good. Yeah. I well. said, Is there anything else? I said, no, we'll see you in the follow-up next month. All right. Next month? Wow, they're seeing yeah. you often, aren't they? Well, yeah. this was just to give me good insurance. You know, I'm still <laughs> taking my medication that they gave me. Yeah. My all really well, bad. we're back to that again. Back to but that. anyway, so I look healthy, right, guys? You yeah. look good, yeah. Alex. Yeah, no, just fine. ask him about the bags under your eyes and any correlation to liver issues. Oh, stop. Here we go. Yeah. That's what you I'm going to You know, Phil, if you look half as good as Alex does, and yet you're younger than he is, and, and, and you look older than he does, I mean, come on. Yeah, I could have had these bags. For $4,000, I could have gotten rid of these bags, but I don't think it's worth money it. money four grand. Huh? That's a lot, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, it's a drop in the bucket. To and you use those. makeup? What? Makeup, you know. No, I don't use makeup. No, well, if you did, maybe you wouldn't have the bag. Oh, shut up. <laughs> anyway, hey, everybody. Uh, Scott Boddicker, always good having you here. You should call more often, my friend. Uh, and uh, th uh, thank you to Alan as well and Charlie. And the three of you probably can call over next to Jack, who is in hopefully it'll work tonight. I don't know. I'm not guaranteeing <laughs> anything. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Brian Neary, for your help tonight. Tony, thank you. Jeff Stein, I thank you. And Phil Meyer, thank you as well. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave 
back at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Ah, there they go. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, 1030, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, as I like to say, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.